kids who want to grow up to become astronauts, the question of what they're going to eat on the long trip to another planet may have been answered. Are you ready for this? Scientists say they have created a way to turn an astronaut's own poop, yes, poop, back into food, yes, food. The Penn State, State team excuse me, broke down liquid and solid waste using a microbial reactor that converts matter into edible substance similar to animal feed. While it's not the most appetizing thought in the world, researchers say their process could solve many issues tied to preserving and growing food in space. A must if astronauts are going to make journeys that span several years. Astronauts aboard the International Space Station already recycle some of the water contained in their urine. However, all solid waste is still ejected into space where it burns up in the atmosphere. Hashtag science. <laughs> Matt Yours for CBS 11 News. If for whatever reason eating your own waste sounds appealing, NASA has good news for you. Researchers may have found a way to repurpose astronauts' poop into food. A team from Penn State, funded in part by NASA, figured out how to quickly break down solid and liquid human waste using microbes. The resulting substance is a gooey paste like Vegemite, and it could be consumed or used to make food in space. Astronauts already drink water made from their own recycled urine, so converting poop into an edible substance may not come as a shock. The researchers think this system could be beneficial for future long-term missions like trips to Mars, which could take months or years. Packing food on board a spacecraft increases fuel costs, and growing it takes up valuable room. How do you go to the bathroom in zero G? So everything in space seems more difficult than it is on Earth. I bet the bathroom is no different. It's no different. Well, hygiene is very, very important in space. You want to keep the spaceship nice and clean. You want to keep everybody healthy. So you want to make sure you know what you're doing when you go to the toilet. And this is our urinal host, and this uh, allows us to learn how to use the toilet in space and to even practice using the toilet. It's an actual working toilet. What's happening is a vacuum going on inside of there, and it's evacuating the air, and you say you have a vacuum inside of there. The hose is flexible, but it needs to be pretty snug to a customer in order to suck away the liquid waste to a separate tank. Suction is the key, you know, Suction is very, very important, making sure that... You ain't seen nothing yet. That was only number one. Uh-oh. Number two is even more complicated and uh, a little intimidating. So in order to be prepared, we have a special trainer right behind you to help you get the right position on this toilet seat. This is one of the deepest, starkest secrets of NASA. And no one knows about this stuff. Look down the hole. Wow, just there, a camera. There is a camera. <laughs> This is for alignment practice. This is targeting practice only. And the hole that you're aiming for on that toilet is much smaller than what we're used to. Because the hole at the bottom is so small, you have to be in the right spot. If you miss, you might end up with an escapee floating in the cabin. For this exercise, we're gonna do a, somewhat of a simulation. And we're gonna simulate uh, a part of you with this little uh, smiley face circle that you see right here. So I will now turn my back, and you can, of course, keep the camera rolling on him, but I'm gonna turn my back, and you can put that where you think it belongs. So you put it Feel the yeah, body yeah. position, got it, got but it. make it so everything's... <laughs> are you in a rush to get off of that thing? You don't like it on here, do you? People are knocking on the door, you know? Go down the hall. You want to try to align that target in the right spot. I'm not sure this is a view I really want to see of, of myself, right. but, uh, you know, to be an astronaut, to survive space, you gotta, you got to do this kind of stuff. Yes, there's a price you have to pay to get to space and survive, and you're paying it right now. <laughs> Sitting down correctly also creates an airtight seal, allowing suction to take your deposit through a tube at the bottom up to a small bag that's then put into the trash. All right, I'm strapped in, lined up. Uh, I guess I know what comes next. Time to concentrate. a regenerative life support system, which is a fancy way of saying that we've got a toilet that you use and then a machine that goes chugga 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 chug gush 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 chugga 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 chug chugga 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 chug gush 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 chugga 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 chug and then you go to the galley and you make yourself a cup of coffee. I chugga 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 ch
<laughs> that would go great with a cheeseburger if you like drinking piss with your cheese. I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. We uh, uh, destroyed that technology, technology, uh, destroyed, uh, destroyed that technology. Jesse. And a shaft that you rotate. So, it, I mean, like on the space station, how many of these would you have? Uh, seven. Because we have seven windows. What happens if you get a leak on that? Um, then you have a leak. What happens if you get a leak on that? Um, then you have a leak. Um, then you have a leak. Um, then you have a leak. You just have a leak. And, and, and what you would do you is... You lose air. <laughs> yeah, you would probably seal the whole cupola off. And then... Uh, there's probably a plan. I don't know off the top of my head, but there's probably a plan. <laughs> life support system, which is a fancy way of saying that we've got a toilet that you use and then a machine that goes chugga 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 chugga. You go to the galley and you make yourself a cup of coffee.